The Fiji national football team is the national team of Fiji and is controlled by the Fiji Football Association, the governing body of football in Fiji. The team plays most of their home games at the ANZ National Stadium in Suva. Fiji first participation of a FIFA World Cup qualifier was in 1982 and since 1990 have competed in every qualifier without success with their best result being a final round appearance at the 2010 FIFA World Cup qualification. The national team also represents Fiji at the OFC Nations Cup with them appearing in eight out of the ten tournaments. Fiji best result is a third place finish at the 1998 and 2008 editions. They won have the Melanesia Cup five times and did compete at the Pacific Games from 1963 until 2015 with the competition going into an under-23 tournament. History Beginnings 1951 Fiji first international football game was against a New Zealand side that was touring Oceania and had played four games against New Caledonia. The international, which took place on October 7, saw New Zealand getting the win six goals to four. Jock Newall got a hat-trick for New Zealand. New Zealand returned the following year, with Fiji losing all three games, including a 9-0 drubbing in the second match. After being absent from the international game for 11 years, the Fiji Football Association joined FIFA in 1963. That same year, the national team entered the first edition of the South Pacific Games, held in Fiji. In that tournament, the country appeared in its first gold medal match after defeating Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands, but lost the match to New Caledonia 8-2. Mark Canyon Case scored four goals for the opposition and Fiji was relegated to silver. After missing 1966, the team's next tournament appearance was in the 1969 games held in Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea. They finished in fourth place out of six teams after losing to Papua New Guinea in the bronze medal playoff. Two years later, Fiji finished bottom of Group 2 with losses against New Caledonia and New Hebrides. They, however, would defeat the Cook Islands in the fifth place playoff. World Cup qualifying debut and Oceania upsets 1973-1991 As a member of the Oceania Football Confederation, they played in the first edition of the OFC Nations Cup held in New Zealand where they did not win a match in the four games that they played during the tournament. Competing at the 1975 South Pacific Games, the national team under the guidance of coach Sashi Mahendra Singh made the semi-finals of the competition where they lost to Tahiti. In the third place playoff, they lost to the Solomon Islands by a goal. After John Lal became the new coach for Fiji in 1977, his first match as coach was an unofficial match against Taiwan with the match ending in a two-all draw before taking on Australia who played Taiwan because of the soccer ban in the country. On March 19, 1977, they took on Australia at Buckhurst Park with seven internationals from BA FC not being available due to a tour of New Zealand that was being planned. After holding off the Australians for the first 45, Jimmy Okeet, who was on debut, scored the only goal of the game. This was deemed to be a shock to the locals with the team struggled in the two tours to Australia in 1961 and 1968 against the state teams. Under the orders of new coach, Modi Musadalal, they had some pre-tournament friendlies against New Zealand with them conceding nine goals in the two games before competing at the 1979 South Pacific Games in Suva. After getting a nil-all draw against Papua New Guinea, they scored their biggest win against Kiribati as they won by 24 goals. After defeating Wallace and Futuna in the quarter-finals and Solomon Islands in the semis, they made it to their second Pacific Games final against Tahiti. In front of over 20,000 people, Fiji came up short again with Errol Bennett scoring a double to give Tahiti the gold medal. The next tournament for Fiji was the 1980 OFC Nations Cup with the nation being grouped with New Zealand, Solomon Islands and Tahiti in the group. After defeating the Solomon Islands in the opening game, they were expected to lose against New Zealand who was the favourites to win the group. On February 27, 1980, they became the first Fijian team to defeat a New Zealand team with Dewan Chand and Meli Vuilabasa both scoring two goals in the victory. 
Fiji would not make it to the final with them losing to Tahiti 6–3, before losing the third-place playoff to New Caledonia two goals to one, in what was the last Oceania Cup for 16 years, the following year would see a new coach with New Zealand coach Wally Hughes leading the team into their first World Cup qualifiers. After opening up with a four-goal defeat against New Zealand, they drew with Indonesia nil all, before defeating Chinese Taipei 2–1 to be in third place with three points. For Fiji that momentum would be short-lived as they crashed to finish bottom of the group with them conceding 23 goals in the final two games against Australia and New Zealand. For, Hughes he would resign after the Australian game, stating, I wouldn't wish on any coach what I have been through. With him suggesting that bribery was involved in the defeat to Australia, after two years of being absent from international football, the national team under the guidance of Rudy Gutendorf competed at the 1983 South Pacific Games in Samoa. After finishing top of the group that featured New Caledonia, Solomon Islands and Vanuatu, they defeated Papua New Guinea 2-0 in the quarter-finals before knocking off New Caledonia in the semi-final. In the final, they lost to Tahiti by a single goal which was contested by the players with them attacking the referee and linesman. Another similar incident in a friendly against New Zealand happened the following year. This led to a ban of one year from international matches being held at Fiji. Fiji next tournament was the 1988 Melanesia Cup held in the Solomon Islands with the national team winning the final against the Solomon Islands 3-1 in the final to claim their first title. Later in that year, they competed in the first round of the 1990 FIFA World Cup qualification with their opponent being Australia. With the motivation of $500 Fijian dollars bonus for each player if they won. In front of 6,000 people, they would defeat Australia 1-0 with Ravuame Matiji scoring the goal to take the lead heading into the second leg. The second leg though saw Australia take out the match by a score of 5-1 in what media calling it the Battle of Newcastle. With an all-in brawl happening in the last bit of the match which saw Charlie Yankos getting a broken nose, after claiming the 1989 Melanesia Cup at home before the following year finishing in third place behind Vanuatu and New Caledonia. They headed to Tahiti for the 1991 South Pacific Games in Tahiti where they finished top of the group before defeating Vanuatu in the semi-finals. In the final, they took on the Solomon Islands where Radaik Nawalu scored the opening goal of the game in the 29th minute to give Fiji the lead, where they had to go penalties to win the gold for the first time. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Melanesia Powerhouse 1991 to 2003. Fiji competed at the 1994 FIFA World Cup qualification with the team being put in Group B with Vanuatu and New Zealand. After losing to New Zealand in the opening game of qualifying at Christchurch, they headed off to Vanuatu to compete at the 1992 Melanesia Cup where they took out the cup for the third time with the difference being by goal difference over New Caledonia. After a 3-0 win over Vanuatu in Suva, they tied with New Zealand at the same ground. In the final game of the group, they defeated Vanuatu in Port Vila by the same scoreline. That game was a dead rubber as they finished behind New Zealand and be eliminated from contention. After not qualifying to the 1996 OFC Nations Cup because of them finishing second at the 1994 Melanesia Cup, they competed at the 1995 South Pacific Games in Tahiti where they ended up getting the bronze medal with the team defeating Vanuatu in the bronze medal playoff. Attempting to qualify for the 1998 FIFA World Cup, Fiji got a bye into the second round of qualifying where they were paired with New Zealand and Papua New Guinea with the top team qualifying for the third round. The nation would finish in second place with losses to New Zealand both at home 1 to nil and away 5 to nil being the critical factors in seeing them being eliminated. Fiji next tournament was the 1998 OFC Nations Cup after they qualified by taking out the 1998 Melanesia Cup held in Vanuatu with the only blemish being a one-all draw against the Solomon Islands. After losing to the hosts Australia 3-0 in their first game, they defeated the Cook Islands three goals to one to secure a semi-final spot where they fell to New Zealand by a single goal. This put them into the third-place playoff where they defeated Tahiti to get their best and to date result at the OFC Nations Cup with a third place. Asala Masi being the top goalscorer for the tournament with three goals. Fiji qualified for the following edition of the Nations Cup after getting the title at the 2000 Melanesia Cup in Fiji. 
but later that year, Fiji withdrew, with political unrest in the country which led to the 2000 Fijian coup d'état and the withdrawal of the team. Fiji qualification for the 2002 FIFA World Cup started at Coffs Harbour when they were grouped with American Samoa, Australia, Samoa and Tonga in Group 1. In the opening game of the group, they defeated American Samoa 13-0 in the opening match to record their biggest win in a FIFA match with Shailendra Lal scoring five and Asala Masi scoring four of his own. After defeating Samoa six goals to one, they lost to Australia 2-0 to finish in second place and be eliminated from contention as only the top team from the group qualified through to the second round. They met Australia again at the 2002 OFC Nations Cup in New Zealand where they finished third place in the group after only getting a win against New Caledonia before getting an 8-0 loss against Australia which eliminated Fiji from making the semi-finals and seeing the sack of Billy Singh who had a seven-year reign for his third stint as coach of the national team, Fiji claimed the 2003 South Pacific Games gold medal at home. The squad which mostly consists of young players was able to go unbeaten throughout the tournament with them defeating New Caledonia in the gold medal match. Asala Masi was the top goalscorer for Fiji with 12 goals which included the 7 from the 12-0 win over Kiribati in the group stage. Recent times 2004. Fiji qualification for the 2006 FIFA World Cup started in Samoa when they finished in second place in the qualifying group which featured Vanuatu, Papua New Guinea, Samoa and American Samoa with the only loss being against Vanuatu on the final match day. For Fiji this meant that they qualified through to the 2004 OFC Nations Cup. After drawing with Tahiti and getting a win over Vanuatu, their World Cup chance was again over with Fiji losing the next three matches to see them being eliminated at the second stage of qualifying. The next tournament for Fiji was the 2007 South Pacific Games in Samoa which was also the first round of qualifying for the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. After safely getting through the group which had Tuvalu, Tahiti, Cook Islands and New Caledonia, they took on Vanuatu for a spot in the semi-finals to qualify to the next round. In the semi-finals, they defeated Vanuatu to advance to the second round of qualifying with a three-goal victory, confirming their spot into the gold medal match where they lost by a single goal to New Caledonia in the gold medal match to finish runner-up for the fourth time. The second round of qualifying got off to a rocky start with goalkeeper, Simeone Tamanisa being refused entry because of his father being linked to the 2006 Fijian coup d'état. The match was moved to the end of the qualifying period with Fiji winning 2-0. During that reschedule, the national team played the rest of their World Cup games with the team finishing third place in the group after getting only one point in their first three games a three-all draw against New Caledonia. This was a key factor as the later 4-0 result against the same opposition completed their elimination from qualifying to the next stage. Under the guidance of Gurjeet Singh, the team competed at the 2011 Pacific Games in New Caledonia. In the group stage, the national team qualified to the semi-finals with a game to spare as they would go through with a clean sweep of wins. In the semi-finals, they took the lead against the Solomon Islands in the 69th minute of play from Machu Dunadamu, but goals from Jose's NAWO and Henry Farodo gave the Solomon Islands the win and a spot into the gold medal match. Fiji would finish in fourth place as they lost to Tahiti in the bronze medal match, two goals to one. Juan Carlos Bazzetti returned to the top job of Fiji as he led the team to the 2012 OFC Nations Cup which was also the second part of qualifying for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Competing in Group B, they lost the opening game to New Zealand with the only goalscorer of the match being Kiwi player Tommy Smith in the 11th minute. After a nil-all draw against the Solomon Islands, they got their only goal of the tournament with Machu Dunadamu opening the scoring against Papua New Guinea in the 15th minute. But a late goal from Kima Jack would end the tournament for Fiji in a draw and knock them out in the group stage. After not competing in an senior international for three years, the national team had two friendlies against A League side Wellington Phoenix before entering their under 23 squad for the 2015 Pacific Games in Papua New Guinea, which was also a qualifier for the 2016 Summer Olympics in Brazil. After losing the opening game, they got a draw in the second match with Roy Krishna and Alimatama Hesse scoring the two goals for Fiji. More friendlies took place before the national team headed to Papua New Guinea for the 2016 OFC Nations Cup which was also the second round of qualification for the 2018 World Cup. 
With a squad that only had three outside of the National League, they lost the opening game against New Zealand with Krishna getting the goal in the 3-1 loss. After defeating the Solomon Islands in their second game from a Krishna goal, they needed to defeat Vanuatu in the final group game to have a chance at qualifying to the semis. After almost getting the early lead from a Krishna, Fiji fell behind by two goals from Dominique Fred and Finetti Masavakalo which gave Vanuatu the lead. The second half would see Fiji to tie the match at two all as goals from Samula Katoga and Krishna gave the team hope of qualifying. For Fiji they was eliminated from the competition as a penalty in the 75th minute was slotted in by Brian Kaltak gave Vanuatu a spot in the semis by goal difference. For finishing third place, they qualified through to the third round of qualifying with Fiji being drawn to face New Zealand and New Caledonia in Group A before the first game against New Zealand. Frank Farina was replaced by Christoph Gommel at the top job with Gommel stating, We respect our opponents and we know that they are strong. In his first press conference as manager. Fiji only got a single point from their four games, with the only point being against New Caledonia at La Toca with that game ending in a two-all draw. <laughs> <laughs> Home stadium The first soccer international held in Fiji was held at Albert Park, when New Zealand took on the hosts in 1951. The stadium, the main centre in Fiji during the early 20th century, was also the home of cricket and of the country's first rugby union test match in 1926. In modern times, most games hosted by Fiji are held at the ANZ National Stadium, which was built in 1951 and has been renovated twice. The first in 1978 was for the 1979 South Pacific Games held in Suva, and a second was done in 2012, with ANZ Fiji sponsoring the renovations at a cost 17.5 million Fijian dollars in exchange for the stadium's naming rights. The football team has also played at games in Latoka, Ba, Nasori and Labasa. Competition record. World Cup record Oceania Nations Cup record Pacific Games record Results and fixtures Topic twenty seventeen Topic twenty eighteen Topic Current technical staff Topic Managers Topic Players Topic Current squad The following 28 players were called up as preliminary squad for the friendly matches against the Solomon Islands and Singapore on 29 August and 7 September 2018 respectively. Caps and goals updated as of 5 September 2018 after the game against the Solomon Islands. Recent call-ups The following players have also been called up to represent Fiji in the last 12 months. Topic. See also Fiji National Under-23 Football Team Fiji National Under-20 Football Team Fiji National Under-17 Football Team Fiji Women's National Football Team Fiji Women's National Under-20 Football Team Fiji Women's National Under-17 Football Team Fiji National Rugby Union Team Fiji National Cricket Team